and your entertainment news this week. The nominations for the 89th Academy Awards were announced Tuesday morning, and as expected, La La Land danced away with a bunch. The romantic musical picked up 14 Oscar nominations, tying the record held by All About Eve and Titanic. The coming of age tale Moonlight and the sci-fi thriller Arrival both received eight nominations. La La Land was nominated for Best Directing, Best Picture, and Best Original Screenplay. The film stars Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling both received Best Acting nods. Casey Affleck, Andrew Garfield, Viggo Mortensen, and Denzel Washington joined Gosling in being nominated for Best Actor in a Leading Role. In addition to Emma Stone, Ruth Nega, Isabel Hooper, Natalie Portman, and Meryl Streep were nominated for Best Actress. Jimmy Kimmel will host the 89th Academy Awards on ABC starting at 4 p.m. February 26th. For a complete list of nominations, go to Oscars.com on the web. Elton John has been tapped to write the songs for a devilish upcoming musical, The Devil Wears Prada. Sir Elton John, who is the composer of Broadway hits The Lion King and Ada, will supply the music for a stage adaptation and playwright Paul Rudnick will write the story. No timetable for the production has been revealed. The Devil Wears Prada began as a best-selling novel by Lauren Weisberger inspired by the author's own experiences working as an assistant for Vogue magazine editor Anna Wintour. It was adapted into a hit film starring Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway. Frances Bean Cobain wants the guitar at the center of her divorce battle to be handed over to an art shipping company until the legal issue is resolved. Kurt Cobain's daughter has been fighting for ownership over the Nirvana frontman's left-handed Martin D. 18E acoustic electric guitar ever since she split from musician Isaiah Silva from the band The Eries, her husband of two years, in March. Silva is claiming that Cobain gave it to him as a wedding present an allegation she denies. As the court battle drags on, Frances has filed paperwork asking the court to let her inspect the guitar to make sure Silva has been keeping it in top condition. She also wants it to be looked after by a third party, an art shipping company, until they settle the issue. The guitar was the last Kurt played before his death in 1994, and only 300 were made. Frances's mother, Courtney Love, has called it a family heirloom. In September, Francis was ordered to pay Silva $12,000 a month for four months to support him during their divorce, and she was also ordered to pay $15,000 towards his legal fees. This has been your entertainment this week. I am Alicia Cook for News 46.